<laughs> I said this some time back when I was uh, invited by the apostle about a certain guy. This guy, I heard this uh, from another speaker who was talking about getting into businesses and so on. He said this guy wanted to start a business. He didn't even have money. But he realized that he was supposed to be a very, very, very uh, uh, upcoming farmer. And nearby, there was another farmer who was doing very well. He had good kettles in his farm. And this young upcoming guy went to him and said, do you have any cow that you're selling? And the owner of this big farm said, yes, I've got several that I'm selling. And he said, I'm looking for one that I can, uh, I can get for $100. And this big farmer started laughing and said, uh, young man, my kettles here, they started 2,000. Just 2,000, that's it. And he begged and he begged. He said, just for $100, he said, no, 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 no. You can find some other places here. Just look at them. And as he kept on begging, that's when the, this big farmer said, oh, by the way, I can try. There's another one that I have, but it's really old. I have to be honest with you. It's really old. So, I can give that one to you for $100. And then the guy, he went in, he saw it, he said, I'm going, I'm going out now to organize for transport, to come and pick it up. And then for about two weeks, he wasn't able to come and pick it up. And then after two weeks, he had a vehicle arriving at his house, he came outside, he saw this big farmer, and he said, I've just finished offloading your car at the back of your house. It died. So I said, maybe you might want to bury it yourself. And this guy said, okay, so then I should have my money back. He said, no, no, no. I kept it for you for two weeks. I should have charged it for that. You should have, least, you should have at least come and collected your... your, your your cow and enjoyed it for the past two weeks. <laughs> now that it is dead, it is no longer my issue. And then the guy didn't know what to do. And then the following day, he did something amazing. And after about a month or so, he came back to the same farmer, big farmer. He said, I've come again, I want to buy this time, I want five kettles from you. He said, young man, you were here last time, you ended up giving me problems. <laughs> I told you I no longer have, that was the oldest cow that I had. So now there's nothing left for you here. He said, no, I want to buy those ones for 2,000. I've got 10,000 right now in my pocket. And he said, young man, how did you do that? Where did you get all the money? Because I remember last month, you were so broke. You had only $100. <laughs> he said, the one that you brought to my house, I just placed it on a raffle. I was selling tickets for $10. $10 a cow. There's a cow for $10. And people were buying until I got that $10,000. And, and the big farmer said, ah, so who bought that cow that was dead? He said, there's a, there's a guy who bought it. And he collected it. He said, no, I didn't have a problem with anyone. I just returned his money. <laughs> you didn't have a problem? He said, I didn't have a problem. He was selling a dead cow. So he didn't have a problem with the rest of the people. He only had a problem with the person that won. But still, he gave him his money back. I'm not saying you go and you, you do that, but... Because everyone was buying those tickets and saying, this guy is so desperate. And you know only one person has to win.
and that's the only person that you have to deal with. Not the rest of the people. But we're talking about, we're talking about when you really want to prosper in life. You get to a place where you can almost sell anything and don't have problems with the people. This afternoon I was talking to another, another farmer. What surprised me is that uh, he's, he's not using irrigation in his farm. He's just, just relying on this rain that comes down. And I said, what is this? He said, I'm even expecting like uh, nine tons, ten tons a hectare of maize. I was looking at the maize. I was, I was amazed at the maize. I said, how are you able to do this? No irrigation, no what? Because what, what really amazed me is the fact that the method that he applied, the method that he applied is applicable anywhere else. If what I'm seeing now is a product of the rains that we saw coming down. And there is no activity whatsoever happening in most of the farms. And I'm looking, I'm in a place where somebody's about to get <laughs> 10 tons. Per hectare. In this dry season, Say, how do, you, how do you do that? He said, personally, what I, I do, if I get to the first week of November, whether there is no rain, I'll put something into the ground. I said, without seeing anything, he said, because I've realized that the rains themselves, they have to see something. He said, I'll put something into the ground and give God the reason. There has to be a reason in the ground why the rain should come. I have to plant. <laughs> I said to him, today, I'm going to talk about that. I'll use what we have said. I will say it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's not all about possessing it. <laughs> Do we have the tactics? Do we have the tactics? You can get to a person who is doing very well in terms of agriculture. You can remove the person, throw him away. Go there yourselves. Agriculture, it is not in the ground. It is up here. This is where you do farming. The tactics. The tactics. Cultivate your area. Don't say I'll get anything that I get from the market. Cultivate your area. Select the kind of money, the kind of people that you'd want to make money from. You have to select what kind of people are you dealing with. That's it. It's like, you see, your life, your life, your life is like a garden. If you don't plant anything, there are certain things that will just grow by themselves. Still something has to grow in your life. So you might as well have to make a decision to plant something in your life that you prefer. Because still, you will get something. Okay, let me, let, me, let me ask some of you here. You have had money from $1, maybe to $7. Let me see your hand. You have had money from $1, maybe to $7 in your past, in your life. You have had that amount of money from $1 to $7. Let me see your hand. Okay, okay. Some of you, no matter how low you can go, 
you are still left with at least maybe six dollars seven dollars eight dollars no matter how low you can go there are people like that right if you are that kind of a person who normally makes eight dollars it doesn't matter it's after eight months if you are that kind of a person you have money in your pocket have you ever sat down to think about how did i get to even eight dollars what is it that you did that made you to realize that eight dollars have you ever also sat down to see how you can multiply that act 